tropical. Mm-hmm. Describe it for me. Mm. Palm trees, light blue green water. Mm-hmm. What else do you see in this place? White sand. Mm-hmm. Do you hear anything in this place? Listen for birds, perhaps. It's, uh, the ocean. Mm-hmm. The water. How is the ocean today? Is it relaxing or is it rough? It's calm. Calm. Mm-hmm. So what I imagine is that you would see the water come up and go against is that white sand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want you to feel your face and see if there's any breeze, perhaps. Light. Light breeze. Very good. I'd like for you now to take a look and see if there's anything in the ocean that perhaps would like to come and visit you today with a message. Look out there and see if there's anything in the horizon. Tell me if you see anything out there. Look around. Anything interesting out mm, there? There's a dolphin out there. Mm-hmm. So let's see if the dolphin has any type of unusual behavior. Take a look and see what this dolphin is doing. Connect with the dolphin mind to mind. I think he's summoning me. All right, so let's go ahead and find yourself walking into that water. See yourself going into that water, and you'll be able to breathe underneath. And go ahead and put your head under that water and tell me where you go. Tell me everything you see. There's just a dolphin swimming around and Mm -hmm. very excited. Mm -hmm. So connect with that dolphin and let's see where he wants to take you today. Going somewhere. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. So, are you hanging on? I'm to hanging on to him. Yeah. All right. So, hang on to the dolphin mm-hmm. and tell me what you see along the way. We're just going deep. Mm-hmm. Just describe everything you see. I think he's taking me to a undersea city. Mm-hmm. Let's describe that city once you see it. It's a lot of light. Mm-hmm. A lot of spires. It almost looks like it's alive. Mm-hmm. So tell me everything that you see. Lots of sparkling light. Is this a cave or a cavern or just open space? It's out in the open. It's out in the open. Mm -hmm. And as you're looking at this place, do you feel that there are others around you? Or are you just with a dolphin? Just the dolphin. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your own body now and tell me what it looks like. Has it changed? (laughs) 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? I just see a big tail. Mm -hmm. What color is this tail? It's mostly blue-green, but mm -hmm. there's different colors in it. What about the rest of your body? Take a look at your limbs. Do you have any other limbs? Do you have hands? I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have, but they look more like webs. Mm -hmm. There's a big web between my arm and my waist. Mm -hmm. What color is this web? It's just translucent. Mm -hmm. What about your torso? What does that look like? It's mixed, but it's... I would say I'm very muscular. Mm -hmm. Do you feel male or female? Male. Mm -hmm. What about your face? It's very angular. Mm -hmm. Angular like a fish? Angular like a bony structure underneath. Mm. What kind of features are do you have? Do you have a nose or do you have a mouth? I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have spines. Mm -hmm. Where are these spines? Coming down the back of my head. Mm -hmm. I think I have spines down the sides of my arms, down my back. And my head kind of looks like a crown, hmm. but it's bony structure. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel? Twenties, thirties. Mm -hmm. Is the dolphin still with you? Mm -mm. So let's find out what you're doing in this city. Is this your city? find out where your home is that's that's what it's that's the word that's coming is mm -hmm. my home mm -hmm. so let's find out what you do in this home and who are the people who are with you I want you to see yourself doing an activity that you normally do in this place be there now What do you imagine there being there? It feels like everyone lives in pods. Hmm. Tell me more about these pods. They're translucent. They feel natural. Mm-hmm. natural like being alive like they, like they were naturally formed mm, okay there are big glass window it almost feels like an egg mm -hmm. with structure what's inside of these pods uh, living areas. Mm -hmm. Let's go inside and tell me what you have inside of this area. Is it, is it with water in here? Well, yes. Mm -hmm. So how would you get inside of these pods? There's an opening from the bottom. 
Hmm. Tell me more. They're sealed. But as you go through, it seals behind you. Hmm. Saying something about predatory, keeping predatory creatures out. Mm-hmm. And what's on the inside? Looks like a little mermaid. Mm-hmm. Who is this little mermaid? It feels like my daughter. Mm-hmm. Take a look at her eyes. The eyes are always the window to the soul. Do you recognize her in the life of Sean now? Hmm. I think that's Allie. Mm -hmm. So what is she doing there? Hanging out. Mm -hmm. She's young. How old is she? Maybe 11, mm-hmm. 12. Mm-hmm. And is she swimming or just uh, sitting? How, what, is, what do you no, do? No, just uh, relaxing. <laughs> We're in water. It's, mm-hmm. There's not, it's just. Just hanging out? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And my mate is there. Mm-hmm. And what does the female version of a mer person look like? Similar. Mm-hmm. What's the difference that you see? Mm, finer features. Mm-hmm. Do these mer people have hair? Mm, no. Mm-hmm. Anything different in the torso? as what humans would have different she has a more I guess a more shapely body mm-hmm. I have smaller waist mm-hmm. and it looks like some stuff hanging she doesn't have hair but there's stuff hanging off of her head mm-hmm. like fins but not fins. I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Do they move? Translucent, yes. Translucent. Mm-hmm. Does it look like it's decorative? No. Or something that's used? It, yes, I, I, I would say decorative. Mm-hmm. Very good. So what else do you see in there? Um, Any indication of what you would be eating in this place or doing in these pods? It just looks like living in this area. Mm -hmm. A place where you would perhaps sleep? Or... I think that this is like a sleep... Well, it's, it's... multiple use Mm -hmm. what are the things you would use these pods for I think there's more rooms Mm -hmm. let's go explore and see what's in the other rooms What do you see? It's like um, one small room. Mm-hmm. I think it's for 
contemplation, uh, mm -hmm. just like a hanging out area. Mm -hmm. It's a very basic. I don't see any high tech anything. Mm -hmm. Are you able to see outside from these mm -hmm. pods? It's transparent. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just a vast ocean. Mm. And what's the other room? It's a gigantic fish outside. Mm. Tell me about that fish. What does it look like? Giant. He's looking at me. Mm -hmm. How do you feel when this fish is looking at you? It's fine. Do you get along? He's happy, yeah. Okay. So he's not a predator? No. He's a friend? Yes. Okay. What else do you see? I see other beings going by. Mm hmm Like yours? Mm hmm Your kind. Looking at them from inside, mm -hmm. they look almost semi reptilian. Hmm. In what way? There's a maybe different breeds of us. Yeah. There's more scaly, more spiny. Do we have any of them have extra limbs, perhaps? Like perhaps the tail with some legs? Or are they just tail? No, they do seem to have like a almost feels like a wing feature, hmm. but it helps to propel them. A wing coming from the back? Mm -hmm. or, from uh -huh. the back. Okay. Is this colorful also? It's... It's also like bony, but translucent. Hmm. Um, yellows and greens and mm -hmm. reds and... Kind of like an underwater sail. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Does it is it used for direction or do they move it around like a fin? I think it's for propulsion. Hmm. Interesting. Anything else interesting about them? See, it's left some striped markings. Hmm, very good. All right, so let's close that scene now, and let's move to another scene in that same lifetime when something very important is happening to you. I hate to stop, but I have to go to the bathroom. All right, very good. So in a moment, I'm going to touch your shoulder. That'll be your indication to open your eyes. You'll remain in this trance. And when we come back, you'll get back to the same exact spot where you are right now. And we'll continue. Eyes open. Okay, great. See yourself back in that same place. And tell me when the images begin. So tell me where you are now. I'm outside mm -hmm. of the city. Mm -hmm. 
Are you by yourself or is there someone with you? Myself. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? Look around. I'm seeing the destruction of my city. Tell me about it. What's happening? Seems to be a uh, Something from outside mm -hmm. has come underneath the water and caused destruction. It's like a big concussion bomb. Mm Describe it for me, what's happening. I just see that it went off. I'm not there in the city when it's happened, but I was affected. Is there anybody that's been saved? Their survivors. Mm -hmm. Describe everything for me. But most of the city is gone. Mm -hmm. Go inside your emotions and tell me what you're feeling. Or sadness. Mm -hmm. Allow it to come out. Allow it to all come out. Let it out. You can't hold us. It's too heavy for you. What's going through your mind? My life is gone. me everything that you're seeing and feeling. There's just so much destruction. And everything that I cared about is gone. What happens next? What do you do now? I help start a new City beginning. Mm -hmm. What role do you play there? I seem to be some leader. Mm -hmm. 
tell me what you're doing. We're just gathering things to start over. Mm -hmm. How many are you? No more than a couple hundred. We were tens of thousands. Just allow it to flow. Allow the emotions to flow. Express what you're feeling. Express what you're seeing. We're just moving on. Mm -hmm. We're moving to a safer place. Mm -hmm. Seems to be some big dark cave. Where no one could reach us. Do you know who attacked your city? No. Mm -hmm. It makes it even worse, doesn't it? You were protected by those pods of predators, but this one was bigger. So tell me about this cave. I think it's our emergency cave. Mm -hmm. Is it deeper? It's deeper, it's dark, it's, and it has supplies. Mm -hmm. What is it that you eat? We eat what's around us. Okay. So by supplies, do you mean food or do you mean? I feel like not food mm -hmm. as much as supplies that we use to take care of ourselves mm -hmm. for structure mm -hmm. so what happens next now we there are, looks like we're building a barrier on the cave mm -hmm. what kind of barrier are you using it looks very similar to the city walls. What are they made out of? Something natural. Mm -hmm. Are you able to use what's under the sea to create your material? I feel like we <clears throat> work in harmony mm -hmm. with the creatures that are there and it's like a creature that has built the barrier. Mm -hmm. So would it be something like a coral, for example? It does what exactly what it feels like. It mm -hmm. feels like a coral, but there's a membrane mm -hmm. between the coral. So. Mm. so let's see what happens now. What happens next? We started over. Mm -hmm. What does your city look like now? It's 
similar but different. Mm -hmm. It's it's doubly protected now. Mm -hmm. So we started a new city inside the cave after it was done. How do the inhabitants feel in this new city? How do you feel? Are you happy in this place? We're not exactly happy. Mm -hmm. What would you call it, living in this place now? Almost seems like you're barricading yourself, like a prison. Exactly, yeah, we are forced into a situation that mm -hmm. we didn't want. Mm -hmm. It's like self-incarceration, don't you think? Yeah, but we feel safe. Mm -hmm. Safer. Do you leave this area? Or do you have everything you need there? We have everything. Mm -hmm. Did the fish come to visit you there? Like they did before? There are some giant fish. Mm -hmm. But we're much deeper mm -hmm. and more secluded and harder to find. Okay. All right, so let's close that scene and now let's go to another significant event in that same lifetime when something important is happening. Be there now. What happens now? <sighs> I have another child. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. It's joyful. Mm -hmm. It feels like when you're born that you're born with intelligence. Mm -hmm. You don't have to teach? No. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this child. Has it changed your life? It makes me feel happy. Mm -hmm. And who's your mate now? Someone very different, but similar. Mm -hmm. This, the biggest difference I can see between my last mate and this mate is the coloration. Hmm. What kind of coloration does she have? Much darker. Mm -hmm. Is she the same type of race as you? Yes. Mm -hmm. What colors does she have? She's dark brown, oranges, dark green, blue, purple. Many colors. And what about your your child? Is it a girl or a boy? Girl. Mm -hmm. What does she look like? She's more brightly colored, mm -hmm. more light, yellow, lime, lime green, spots of orange and purple. Mm -hmm. Does the color have anything to do with the personality of the person? No, but she's very joyful. Mm. Very good. Anything significant in that event that you're looking at? Anything happening there? No? No, All just right. swimming around us. Good. So let's close that scene and now let's go to another significant event. When you're older now, tell me what's happening. Uh, 
I'm dying. And there seems to be a big bubble over me. A bubble? What kind of bubble? What's it made out of? It feels um, pliable. Mm -hmm. What is this bubble for? I think it's to keep me from getting sick, sicker. Mm -hmm. But I'm almost gone. All right. So I want you to go ahead and take your last breath in that lifetime. And as you do, I want you to tell me what are the thoughts going through your head? What was the purpose of that lifetime? The lessons you've learned? Strength, perseverance, follow through. Is that what you learned from that lifetime? Leadership skills. Mm -hmm. What made your lessons? Staying in my heart. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you did that? I did. Mm -hmm. Very good. So go ahead and leave that body. Transition out of it. And let's see where you go to as you transition out of that body. I want you to go tell me what happens to that soul as you leave it. Tell me everything you see. Where are you? I'm pulling away from the... I'm leaving that planet. Mm -hmm. As you leave the planet, describe what it looks like. It's just a, mostly uh, water. Mm -hmm. It's green. It's very, very green. And mostly water? Mostly water. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and continue leaving that. Let's see how far you go and let's meet with your guides. Go ahead and start following the path to meet with your guides. And tell me everything that happens along the way. I just see tall, light beings. Mm -hmm. How many do you see? Eight. Mm -hmm. I can't see their faces. Mm -hmm. Are they dressed in any particular way? Like long, they look like they're 30 feet tall. Mm. Long white robes. Mm -hmm. Any hair to them? Hoods over their heads. Hoods. Mm -hmm. And you say they're light beings. What color are these lights? They're just white. White. Mm -hmm. So let's identify with these light beings. Let's find out what they tell you. Tell me the conversation that you had between them. Mm. Connect with them. What do they tell you? Mm. They're the prophets. Mm -hmm. They're just 
telling me I'm there, here, in case I need them. Mm -hmm. Do they have a message for you today? <laughs> so you're doing fine on your own. Mm -hmm. What role do they play in the, in the life now of Sean? Gentle guidance. Mm -hmm. Does Sean visit with these prophets? They say most of the time nightly. Mm -hmm. So what is it that Sean does when he meets with these prophets? What do they discuss? Lessons. Mm -hmm. He had questions about the lessons that he had to learn in this lifetime. Would the higher self be willing to tell me about these lessons? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why did Sean come here? What's the purpose of him being here? To help raise the vibration of the planet. Mm. Did he choose that or did someone choose that for him? He was chosen. He was. Can you tell me a little bit about that? It seems that he was this merman on a different planet. And he didn't seem to have a human life. Has he ever been human before? Many times. Many times. So why was he chosen now to come here? his light ah so he's like a a flashlight <laughs> a beacon his, his light is incomprehensible mm-hmm He doesn't understand how important he is. I'll tell him how important he is. What is this light doing? He's, he's helping the earth maintain a light quotient. So she can transform. Mm -hmm. And I understand he does this every day. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he tells me that he creates a big beacon of light from source into the earth, into Gaia. Can you tell me what this light source does?
It's eating away at the darkness. Mm. Tell me more. It's making a difference. It's moving the whole planet mm -hmm. into a higher vibration. He is a part of a matrix, a light matrix. Mm -hmm. Together, they are helping lift the planet mm -hmm. out of darkness. How many are these beings here on Earth right now? Multiple thousands. Multiple thousands. Do they know what they're doing? <laughs> like this one, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is he feeling the energy right now? <laughs> <laughs> Is this good for him? Sure. Mm -hmm. Are you calibrating him in any way? He's already calibrated. Mm, okay. So he's just connected to Source right now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty powerful stuff. So can you tell me more about this light matrix? Why was he called to do it? He has experience. Mm -hmm. has he's he, done it before. He's done it before for other planets or for Gaia? This planet. This, when would he do that? times of oof, Lemuria, mm -hmm. in times of Atlantis, mm -hmm. he is connected to the crystalline structure. Mm, okay. So was he here at that time, before or after the destruction? Both. Both, okay. So he's kind of like the repair crew that come in and, <laughs> and give light to Gaia? <laughs> Many of the crystals mm -hmm. that were destroyed yes. are being realigned mm. altered mm -hmm. reconstructed with light okay is this the light that he's bringing in It's part of that. Okay. Now, he had told me that he had gotten rid of all of his crystals. <laughs> Why is that? He has no need for them. Okay. How are the crystals he's holding now working for him? Good. Good? Okay. I'm glad he's energizing them. 
appreciate that. So now that we know his purpose, what's his biggest lesson in this lifetime? To maintain an open heart. Hmm. How can he do that? Staying open, mm -hmm. <sighs> removing any barriers that come up. Mm -hmm. He says that he's been doing work for a long time, forgiving, um, clearing things away. Is it working? Yes. It is. So all the clearing that he's done, nothing else needs to be cleared? There, there will always be core issues. Mm-hmm. Things that will close his heart. He's afraid of having his heart broken. Mm -hmm. So, since his lesson is to keep his heart open, how do we accelerate this? This lesson. I think we all get to a, a certain point where we don't want our heart broken. How do we do that? He is finding his way. Mm -hmm. Does he have guides that help him with this? This special lesson? I... I... I am helping him. Mm -hmm. He is in the middle of a great transition. Mm -hmm. There is no more path. No more path.
Can you explain what that means? He knows. You know, he had a lot, of, a lot of questions about where he's going, whether he should be moving, for example. Could you tell him about that? I say yes. Mm -hmm. But to where? What would be a good place for him to continue doing this work that he does? He will be guided. Okay. I don't think that's the answer he wanted, but we'll deal with that one. How about a new job? He's a jack of all trades. He is to continue mm -hmm. down the same path. Mm -hmm. His jobs will continue to change. Okay. Why has he chosen a life with so many different things that he does? So flexible like that. It's easily bored. <laughs> okay. Is this because of where he came from before? You showed him this life of a merman and said that when they were born, they already had intellect. Does he carry some of that into this life, perhaps? <sighs> this one was highly intellectual. Mm -hmm. But most has been washed away. Ah, and why is that? It is the way of this world. Mm. Of being on this earth? It's the agreement okay. that you make when you choose life here. Okay, so we choose to come here without knowing anything of before? Correct. Mm -hmm. Is that changing at all with the new children? The new children are being born totally aware mm -hmm. and awake. Because there's not a lot of time. Mm. So their contract is totally different. They are not on the reincarnation cycle. Okay. When did this all begin? Recently? No. No? How old are the children now that are not on the reincarnation cycle?
in the last few years. Okay. So you say there's not enough time. What's happening to the earth? That there's not enough time that these children have to come here. She's shifting. Mm -hmm. But what does that mean by the earth shifting? What does that mean to us? She's moving into a new... Dimension. Okay. When you move into a do new dimension, what does that, what happens to the people that are now in this dimension? Are we shifting with her? Up to a point. Okay. Are any of us already shifting with her? There, there are many thousands of people. Mm -hmm. There are many millions and more likely billions of people that are not awake. Mm -hmm. But we have shifted the planet without their assistance. Okay. Now what would make difference if you're aware or awake or not in the shift? Being aware You help Mother Earth by helping her shift. Okay. If you are not aware, you are not giving any energy back to the Mother. Mm. But she is actually giving energy to those who are asleep. Hmm. Will they eventually wake up? Some never. Okay. When the earth transitions, they'll transition. Okay. We all will transition. Mm -hmm. We will all just go to different places. Okay. Now, when Mother Earth transitions to this other dimension, will she be physical? Will we be able to see her like we do now? Yes, mm -hmm. but in a more light way. There'll be shifts of all types. Now this shift, will it require anything physical for her to do? Like in the past, when she shifted, there have been shifting of water over continents, things like that. Will she be shifting like that? Can I stop again? Mm -hmm. Eyes open. How are you feeling? Good. Good? You want to take a break? Uh, right. I just need to go to the bathroom. Okay. Sorry. Why are you saying so? Uh, it's your body. Yeah. Yeah. And you begin connecting again. Mm hmm very good let's see that was pretty fast so we were talking now about a 
about this shift and whether or not there was going to be any shifting in the continents, any water sloshing around. This is more of a peaceful transition. It will be both. Mm -hmm. So for people living on the earth, will there be different realities? Or the same reality for everyone? I've heard it in different ways. multiple realities. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some people may experience a lot of water inundations and some others don't? Those that are connected mm -hmm. to 3D reality The cars, mm -hmm. the money, the homes, the extravagance, are all in for a rude awakening. Hmm. That puts many of us in that category. We all have cars and money and homes. How do we change that reality? That is called service to self. Mm -hmm. To change that would be service to others. Okay. And how would you describe service to others? Helping those in need. Mm -hmm. Helping your neighbor, being kind, mm -hmm. but some people are already doing that, and we still have homes and cars and money. That's not. That's not the message. Okay. It's really looking out for others, being there for others. If you are essentially a good person, mm -hmm. good heart, you have nothing to worry about. Okay, good. Because there are many people who have heard messages of the new earth and are kind of startled because they are essentially good people. They're trying their best to help Gaia. They want the best for the shift and for others, but we hear mixed messages about what this shift is going to be about. All of the evil on the earth 
to the greater extent will be transitioned back to source. Okay. Good people may find themselves in a middle place where the earth feels different mm -hmm. but essentially the same. Mm -hmm. And they will transition into that life seamlessly. Okay. Now, I've been getting messages, and I think Sean has gotten messages too. We, we were discussing this before, that we needed to travel light, that we needed to get rid of things. What's going on? What's that message all about? I mean, I've been told out flat out, get rid of my furniture. What's that message coming? Where is it coming from and why? It's all going away. <laughs> There's no need for it where you're going. Hmm. And when is this happening, by the way? Do we have a timeline for that? Is it happening now? You are you are preparing now for something that is currently in transition but it's happening quite soon okay is there anything to be concerned about no okay so just continue following the messages we will be guided Everyone will be exactly where they need to be when this shift transpires. Okay, good. What can we do to maximize our time here? Sean wants to know, first of all, why he's here. And you've already told him he's to bring the light, but how can he maximize that? <laughs> Walk it, live it, love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so whatever it is that he's meant to do, just do it. Bottom line. He could live more in the now. Mm -hmm. What happens when you live in the now? Everything and nothing. Hmm. Can you... Explain more of that.
I am open to showing him mm -hmm. new ways. to expand his heart in breathing in being love Ch channeling source as a whole being. And cr creating love. As he moves through his day. Mm -hmm. He wants to be his higher self 100% of the time, but he wants to know how. How can he become you, merge with you? What's the formula? <laughs> he is that mm -hmm. already. Okay. Although he moves back and forth and uses his mind for different tasks. Mm -hmm. But essentially, we are one. Okay. How can he use this ability to be one with you, with his higher self, to help people in a global way? You had said channeling, you'd said other things. How can he use this ability? We would like him to become a walking pillar of light. Mm. How can he do that? We are showing them. Mm. He is that now. Okay, good. So after his session here today, he should be able to be continuously shooting out this light wherever he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Can he handle this? <laughs> yeah. Or is he going to be like a walking orgasm for his whole life? <laughs> we are in the f final stages. Okay. Of clearing. All right. He is clear. Very good. Well, we need him to be a little more clear. <clears throat> Is that what's causing the shaking? Yes. All right. <laughs> it's pure source. <laughs> he seems to be really uh, shaking.
he's fine. Good. Wonderful. So now he's ready to do his job as as this pillar of light wherever he goes. Or does he even need to move where he is? Does he send out this energy to any place? We will be moving him around. Okay. So does he physically need to be with someone? Because he told me that he can do remote healing with this light, with this energy. There is no time or space mm. in healing. Okay. Now we had talked to, together about whether or not we were going to publish this video to the world. Do you think it would be a benefit to publish it? Would it benefit others to know about this shift? I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the choice is not mine. Okay. Could we do some energetic healing should he choose to, to publish this? Some energetic healing to all those who are viewing this? Would that be of benefit to the world? <laughs> that would be wonderful. <laughs> <clears throat> So can you project the healing? And if you can give me a visualization or an explanation of what this energy source would do for someone when they receive it. There is a great light matrix mm -hmm. surrounding the earth currently mm -hmm. and it looks cellular in nature mm -hmm. imagine from one of those cells Straight to your heart, mm -hmm. moving through you, all the way down to Mother Earth and back. In the light, you can imagine it as growing cellular structure, reformatting your body.
be sure to ask for any new upgrades that might benefit you. In this great time of transition. Very good. Thank you so much. Sean has a question about the reincarnation. Is it necessary for him to return again? No. What about all those that are asking the same question? Are we done with karma yet? The, the reincarnation cycle is over. Mm-hmm. Those who still have karma will be able to transition through their lifetime and instead of living for 80 years we will live hundreds if not thousands of years Mm -hmm. and if you choose to come back you will come back with all of your intellect all of your knowledge all of your lifetimes of your lessons. That should make for a better world. Not having to learn it all over again. the new world is a grand experience So right now, what's the next level of awareness, consciousness that Shaw needs to be in? You had told him he needs to live in the now. Is this upgrade that you've done to him going to put him there? I will personally step him through his next processes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Can we talk about fairies now? (laughs) (laughs) Why is it that he was connected to fairies and now he's not? What happened? He moved his attention away from them. Mm. So what can he do now to reconnect? Nothing. He needs to do nothing. Mm. There is 
a deep connection. Can you tell him what he has to do with fairies? He's had lifetimes with them. Mm. Mm-hmm. Is there a message that he they have for him? <laughs> we love you and we never left. So he'll start seeing them again? Yes, and I think many people will. Hmm. start to see them wonderful the the veils of illusion are dropping so once someone starts to see open up what would be for example the first things that would show up for them How would you know that it's happening? With contact of fairies? With anything. We talked about the veil. The veil dropping. Mm -hmm. You will start to see things on your peripheral Mm -hmm. and you turn and there will be nothing Mm. okay so it's like a shadow that you see kind of like on the sides of your face and then there's nothing there the more awareness Mm -hmm. you give to that peripheral vision Mm -hmm. the more you'll bring it into your everyday vision perfect thank you very much would you tell Sean who his guides are the prophets the prophets those were there six or eight of them eight eight of them Do they have names? (laughs) That is of no concern. No concern, okay. So does he meet with these prophets every night? Most. Mm -hmm. So what's his next step now? Once he leaves this session, what should he be doing? Or being. (sighs) We would like him to stop moving in and out of his ritualistic habits Mm -hmm. we would like him to sit with us each morning for at least five 
of his minutes to connect and stop and connect through the day. Mm -hmm. He no longer needs to do his multiple hour meditations. He already carries that energy. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Is there anything that you would like to tell anyone else? Do you have a message for me or for the world? For, for those who pray, Pray for a peaceful transition prayer is more powerful than you know. And Mother Earth can use all the help she can get. And pray for mankind in general. Thank you very much. Anything else? Are we complete today? I say yes. Very good then. Thank you very much for all the assistance you've given Sean today. I know he's really going to appreciate it. I'd like to thank the prophets and all those who were here today in assistance for a wonderful set. Wide awake feeling wonderful all over. How'd you do? Good. How do you feel? Good. So, do you remember everything? I do. How long do you think the session was? It felt like about 45 minutes. It's about an hour and 45 minutes. Wow. Pretty wild, huh? Mm -hmm. How did that sensation feel to your body? Good. That, um, that's good energy. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. What about that life as a merman? <laughs> that was intense, wasn't it? Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? It does. I've had dreams of that life before. Mm -hmm. That was pretty emotional. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you were carrying that for a long time. I think so, yeah. You can now disconnect from that now that you understand what it was. Yeah. Wow. So, you came here with one idea of what this was going to be like. What do you think? Was it what you felt it was going to be? Yeah, it was good. It was, yeah, it's everything I wanted. So so we asked your higher self about sharing this, but it was going to be your decision. Yeah. I, I think I'm okay with that. You're okay with yeah. that? I think it had a message for everybody. Yeah. It was more about, you know, the fact that you need to 
be more of this light full time. Mm-hmm. And it really showed everybody else how to connect with this matrix, this light matrix, and help the earth too. So it's almost like today you recruited a whole army of of light workers to mm. help Mother Earth. That would be nice. Yeah. Because you, I mean, your higher self actually gave the exact technique that you need to do to connect with the mm. matrix mm-hmm. into your heart and mm-hmm. and then actually restructure your own body. Mm-hmm. So I think it's pretty... Yeah, I saw that clearly. Yeah? How did my, it look like to you? It looked like... Uh, it looked like a growing cell mm-hmm. in a petri dish. Mm. So, but that's going through your whole body. Wow. That's restructuring your whole I body. I felt it. I felt it while <clears throat> while it was happening. I was felting it in my chest <clears throat> as it was coming out of my heart. Wow! I was feeling like cool, almost like body armor. Did you feel any of my? Oh, it was like <laughs> yeah. But but when we were doing that cell thing, I was actually feeling like there was body armor growing out of my right. That's kind of what it looks like. It looks like a crystalline structure. Yes. It's a, it's a crystalline yeah, structure. But it, it, is. it was like a white shell or something right. that was yeah. coming out of my heart. It was yeah. really wild. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess That's I, I was connected. Yeah. Cool. Very good. So, let's disconnect you. Okay. So, wow. <laughs> you didn't think it was going to be... I had no idea what to expect. I mean, I just wanted confirmation mm-hmm. of my higher self so your higher self is still talking to you mm-hmm. and what's what's going on now uh it's changing my plans okay so. you were thinking of going out to the beach having yeah. a good time yeah and yeah. what's and we still can do that yeah <clears throat> but i it wants me to do something else okay so after afterwards but i i can still have my fun okay well that's good yeah now how far did you travel to to come here i came from santa barbara so he tra- that's pretty far yeah it's pretty far so today was a really amazing transmission because i think that the energy that you were sending out to everybody was really important and you got confirmation just now saying that this was real this was yeah this is going to ha- work i think what's going to happen is when you watch the video, it's going to transfer what happened to me to mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. If you, you accept know, it, yeah, you if, have to I allow mean, it. You have to allow it. You have to kind of vibe in. Mm-hmm. But I think it's going to transfer over. Yeah, and and I had a session um, a few years ago, actually with Noam, which was one of the first videos that I ever put out. And there was, this session did not come out on YouTube because it was not recorded on video. And he had a very similar experience that you did. And I was feeling everything he was feeling. And actually, when I would actually repeat the recording and listen to it, I would feel it again. Mm -hmm. Because the energy is really imprinted in the recording. So as you're transmitting this, it's really recorded. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, and that was pure source. Yes, and you're still vibrating. Yeah, you're still, I'm, I'm still, <laughs> you're still yeah. connected. And I didn't even have any coffee. So. Uh huh. That's how it. That's yeah. what it looks like. Yeah. So, I know you got very emotional with the with the merman. Also, yeah. uh, how did that affect you? Do you feel like you were been you've been carrying that around that grief for a long time? Yeah, that's yeah. I, I guess so. Yeah, I think that's why you needed to see that today. Yeah. To kind of get. I out didn't. There. Yeah. I. I was not interested in my past life stuff, as I think I yeah, told you. Yeah, yeah. But, but it, it was it needed. It came up, yeah. It, and, and sometimes people come to these sessions with expectations. I do want to do this or I don't want to do that. But your higher self is guiding this. Right. This is not me doing this. This is not you doing this. This is your higher self. Mm-hmm. So whatever it is that you need to get out of the session is what you're going to get. And today mm-hmm. we got a lot of... A lot of power, a lot of mm. a lot, a lot of light. So, how would you tell people to prepare for a session uh, if they were to come here? <laughs> Maybe not drink as much water as I. Um, you weren't drinking that much water. No, I actually i I've been eating light mm-hmm. anyway. Yes. My body is changing. Mm-hmm. Um, so recently, in the last four months. Uh huh. I lost a lot of weight. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not eating the same things, you know. Yeah. Chocolate doesn't taste as good as it used to. <laughs> so things that I used to be, you know, I just eat healthy food, organic, 
everything, you know. So your higher I self think, is already yeah, guiding my, you. So I I'm transitioning into this already, and yeah. you know, and I'm already being told to get rid of stuff. And, yeah, you, you know. and I both were talking about yeah. that. That when we were talking before. I have already been told by my guides, get rid of stuff. You got to travel light. And I'm not talking about like traveling with a suitcase, right. about traveling light. They, I, they want me to get rid of stuff, like stop being so right. heavy with, with all your stuff. Well, in case you need to leave. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a suitcase back <laughs> or unless you're already out there with your suitcase, you're already there. So you're going to be guided to what to do. It's almost like an instinct. You know, sometimes when a storm is coming, the animals just know what to do. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's something that we have to be told what to do. I think it's just something that you have it inside that just do I it. Think, yeah. I, everybody has it inside. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, where should I live or where should I move to? It's wherever you feel like it. You right. will be told. You, yeah. If one day you want to pack them and say, hey, you know, I feel like going to, you know, the mountains, right. you know, for, for vacation. Right. It's because you need to be in the mountains. Right. You're, you're being told to go there. So right. follow your gut. Mm -hmm. Good. So uh, you recommend this to other people? I do. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend it. Yeah, it's it's great because it confirms things that, that confirms things that you want to know. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, it just confirmed all the things that I already knew, and then a lot of things I had questions about. And, yeah. Um, you know, I've been trying to work with my higher self this whole time. I have been working with my higher self the whole time, but I just was not acknowledging it. So. Yeah, and you didn't come with that many questions at all. Yeah. No. Um, I limit people to 20 questions and Sean did not have that many questions and less is more. Mm -hmm. If you come with less questions, mm -hmm. I'm able to really do more in a session and that's what we did today. We did a lot more in the session because he had less questions. I didn't have to focus on that. So if you want a session with me, just go to my website, albaweinman.com. I do travel all over the place. So you can also sign up for my newsletter to see where I'm going to next. And uh, hopefully I'll get to see you sometime soon. Okay. Until the next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Give me that hug now. Ooh.